How are you all doing? Good. It's great to see you all. Well, shall we give this a go? Ruth is a friend of mine and a well-respected colleague here in North Carolina. She's very well known in orchestra circles and string education circles. She had commissioned a work to be performed by two orchestras in two separate places via video conferencing, and she was going to perform the work with an orchestra in Germany. Unfortunately, the German orchestra pulled out, and she was in need of another orchestra that, number one, uh, was capable of playing the music, and number two, that had a director that was interested in doing something innovative and technologically challenging, and third, someone that had the capabilities to do the video conferencing. Each performing group has a camera and a microphone in the room where they are. Our building is wired so that video and audio can be sent up to a control room where a studio manager then sends the video feed out to Ligon Middle School in Raleigh where they, in their auditorium, had television screens that were projecting our image as an orchestra. We're set also to receive their video and audio feed on our end. They can see and hear us and we can see and hear them all in real time. Well, the piece is essentially an aleatoric piece. And by that I mean, much of the piece happens by chance. Everything that both orchestras played was in fact written out. There was nothing improvised or off the top of the head of the musicians. However, with aleatoric or chance music, it will probably sound different every time you play it based on decisions that the musicians are allowed to make. The beauty of this piece is it was written to be played via video conferencing, which in and of itself creates about a one second delay. So while Ruth and I tried to make sure we could see each other conducting and to conduct in unison, the music has about a one second delay from one orchestra to the next and that creates this kind of ethereal effect that the music had. I, I had no doubt that, that this would be uh, an extraordinarily interesting project. I said to our students that really they and the Ligon Orchestra were pioneers. They were doing something that really, to my knowledge, has never been done before. When you're using technology in this way, a lot of things have to go right, and in this case, they did. I have always felt, as a, as a music instructor at the School of Science and Math, that I had full access to all of the technological capabilities of our school. We want to provide opportunities for our students that they haven't even dreamed of yet, whether they're in the science classroom, the math classroom, or the orchestra classroom. Yeah. 